Hi everyone, it's Jody back here with Strength and Wisdom Tarot. Here to do a random reading for September 25th. Keep in mind that they are random. So take what applies and leave the rest. Thank you for everyone who has liked, subscribed, and shared to my channel. You guys rock! And if anyone would like a personal reading with moi, all the info is in the box below. So let's see if we get a message for the 25th. Hmm. We get the Page of Swords, also known as the Spy Card. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles, the Entrepreneur card. Hmm. Maybe somebody's spying on somebody to see how well they're doing without them. Hmm. We have the Magician. Ten of Pentacles. Nice. So I guess somebody is doing pretty good. We have the Hermit. The Seeker of Knowledge. Now we get the Queen of Pentacles. Your Taurus, your Capricorn, your Virgo. We have Justice, right under the Nine of Pentacles. Hmm. We've got the Fool. The beginning of the beginning, right under the Magician. Nice. Oh. Oh, they insisted on coming out. <laughs> we have Temperance. Also known as a Sagittarius card. Staying balanced, staying calm, staying cool, collected. Whoa. Whoa. Hm. I should have known as fast as it came out. The chariot. Moving forward, being victorious. Being successful. Now, the cherry only moves if those two sphinxes work together. Head, heart, hope, fear, subconscious, conscious. You rein those two in, you can go anywhere. So here's a card of balance. Balance. Justice. The scales. Balance. Seems to me that this person already has it all together anyway. At the bottom of the deck, we have the Empress. Depicted as a Taurus or a Libra. She's queen of all queens. She can take an idea and birth it into the here and now. Sometimes it does mean pregnancy. But she's a nurturing, kind person. She's the only queen out of all the queens that has a shield given to her by the divine. So keep in mind, folks, that, you know, she's just no queen. She's an empress. She rules an empire. See how that applies here. Because it does seem to me that somebody's doing pretty good solo. And somebody's watching. Seeing what somebody... It's up to. Then we have the Nine of Pentacles here. Like I said, somebody doing pretty good solo. They're comfortable with all the Pentacles that they have. Now, Pentacles could be money. And Pentacles are the things that have worth and value to you. Nine's being close to the ten. Not bad. Now, this is the person that could be starting her own business and it took off. He, she, the energy, doesn't matter. And they're really doing well for themselves. 
Why? Because they manifested this for themselves. As above, so below. I like to think of the, um, the Empress as the female alchemist. But he's got everything in front of him, every tool that he needs to create what he wants. And again, I think somebody has, you know, because now we went from a nine of pentacles to the ten. Having enough pentacles to pay your bills and go out and buy that pair of stilettos. Just saying. Ten at the end of a cycle, you can enjoy them. Especially when you work so hard for them. Now, right after that, we have the Hermit, also depicted as a Virgo, but he's the seeker of knowledge. He doesn't rely on anybody else to get his info. He gets it himself. That's why, that way he knows it to be true. That light is his inner light. He's intuitive. It could mean isolation, closing yourself off. Maybe somebody's making some coin in there, hiding it away. First thing that came to mind. But this seems to me like somebody's doing their own thing. You know, they've been manifesting, they've been creating something, working hard at it, getting it off the ground. Somebody is watching. Maybe people around this person that started this endeavor didn't think this person could do it. But they did. Oh, they did. Because right under the spy card, we get the Queen of Pentacles, your Taurus, your Capricorn, your Virgo, or somebody who takes on those properties. She has plenty of Pentacles of her own. She appreciates the hard work that goes into acquiring them. She's down to earth, easy to talk to, loves plants, animals, outdoors. She's a realist. She doesn't keep her head in the clouds. But she likes to have material things. Perhaps this is the person that's uh, being spied upon. Because right after the Queen of Pentacles, you got justice. Now, if this is something in the court system, it's going to go your way. Maybe somebody came into a little bit of loot, you know, from a settlement. But this is something being rectified, something being justified, something being made fair. Karmic justice, you can count on that one. And that's right under the entrepreneur card. It says, this tells me... That, you know, somebody did it by the books. They did it legit. You know, and now they have good karma coming to them. Because they put all the hard work into this. They persevered. And right after justice, you get the fool. By doing this and sticking to this endeavor, you put them on a brand new journey. A brand new road. They took that leap of faith. They took that risk. And now they're reaping the benefits of it. And they're staying cool. Even keel. They're not going to let their heart run away with their head. Or the head run away with the heart. Because they, they have these pentacles now. And maybe they're not telling a lot of people, they're just doing their thing. But they're going places. They will be successful. Victory is theirs. Because they stayed balanced, because they stayed dedicated to this project of getting it off the ground. Somebody is going to have an empire. So let's break it down. Oops, I will if I didn't drop my cards. Excuse me. So 
So they can look on. Look on how somebody is getting their wealth. Because they stuck to it. And now they're going to reap the riches of it. Because they, they decided to take a leap of faith. They took a risk to manifest something for themselves. Because they kept their cool, they didn't boast about it, they didn't brag, they just kept their nose to the grindstone. They stayed balanced. They reaped the riches. And maybe they are keeping it to themselves. They did all the homework, all the research, but it's bringing them places now. A new journey in life that brings success, victory, travel. So whoever this pertains to, props to you. Congrats. That's awesome. Hard work, dedication, always pays off. So that is what I have for you. Please keep on liking, subscribing, and sharing to my channel, and I will see everybody back here real soon. Take care.